Andrea here. So I've been a dental professional for almost 19 years now, but I still have nightmares about dental hygiene school. Not so much about dental assisting school because I did become a dental assistant first, but dental hygiene school, yes. It was just more intense, more competitive. It was longer. You had to learn more in a shorter period of time. But anyway, the video isn't about my nightmares, but I want to tell you guys, how did I manage to get straight A's all throughout school? This is coming from somebody who did not do very well in high school. I barely passed a lot of my classes. I did do very well in other classes where I got 80s and 90s, but for the most part, I barely passed high school because I just wasn't interested in it. Fast forward to college and I managed to get straight A's all throughout. I maintained my honor. I was on the honor list the entire time, even though school was very, very difficult. So let me give you guys some tips and tricks on how to maintain your straight A's and how to even maintain good marks. Not just getting an A in everything, but how to maintain really good marks while in school. Whether you're a dental hygiene student or dental assisting student or even any other student, this is going to apply to you. So basically, the first thing you want to do is get organized. I say this because if you don't know when your classes are or your class assignments, your class tests, your projects, exams, if you don't remember when you have to work, if you don't remember what you have to do in everyday life, it's going to be hard to maintain your marks. Let me explain this a little bit. If you have a test coming up on Thursday, don't bother wasting your hard-earned time studying for a test in two weeks. If you know you have an upcoming test on Tuesday or Thursday, you're going to study for that test first. And then once you pass or finish, I should say, that test on Thursday, then you're going to continue on with the other things you have to do. Being organized and maintaining a schedule is going to help with your time because that's the biggest key to success in school and maintaining good marks is knowing what's coming and being able to manage your time. Because I also say, make sure to take time off. I don't want you guys studying for eight hours every single day, then being in school and then having to work until midnight if you have a part-time job. There is such a thing as being overwhelmed, studying too much, working too hard, not getting enough sleep, and then your marks won't be very good. But you also have to take into account some classes, some tests, some assignments, some projects are going to be worth more than others. It's impossible to study for 10 tests, 10 projects, 10 assignments all at once. But if this project is worth half of your mark, spend the time studying for that project if you have two tests, one assignment, and one project due on the same day. It's kind of hard to do that. If it's difficult to manage your time before that, say studying for test one a week before, study for test two a week before as well, but they're due kind of the same time, you have to study for both, how is this possible? Then what you need to do is you need to look at what is worth more. If you do get a bad mark, what you need to do is go to your instructor and ask how you can make that up because life happens. They can't expect you to be perfect all the time. But if you don't ask, they probably won't tell you. And what's the harm in asking? All they can do is say no. Ask if you can rewrite a test or maybe do an extra project, maybe do an extra assignment to bring that mark up. What I also want you guys to keep in mind is don't be so hard on yourself. You can't get 100% in everything all the time. In dental hygiene school, even in dental assisting school, I probably failed a couple tests, but then I made up for it in other things. I put more pressure on myself to do really good on that project with that topic, or sorry, with that class because let's say I failed the first pharmacology test and I wasn't allowed to retake it. I'm going to make sure to do really good on the next one and do really good on that project. I'm going to spend my time working on those. So don't be so hard on yourself and kind of look into other avenues. If you can do a rewrite, another test, something like that. So be organized, know what's coming up ahead of time so you know how to plan and schedule your time because trust me, once you get to school, if you're not there yet, you are going to be wondering how it's possible. This teacher wants you to do two assignments due next week, but then there's a class project in this class with another teacher. And then another class with another teacher has two exams due this month, but then they just assigned homework and then another project. Teachers don't collaborate, like they really don't. So you're gonna have multiple tests, multiple assignments from everybody, but you need to do well, you need to pass those classes. 
Another thing that not everybody thinks to tell you, if you've ever watched any other study tip videos on YouTube, is aim to get 100%. Really, aim to do the best you possibly can. So if you get 90%, that's still really, really good. If you aim to just barely pass and get 50% or 60%, then you're already going into it like, well, I'm not gonna pass this anyway, so I'm just gonna do the bare minimum you're not gonna pass, you're not gonna get a good mark, you're not gonna get that 99%. But if you aim to know everything for that test, for that exam, for that project, you're going to get a better mark and then you'll get a really good mark and then you won't have to worry. And then on to the next one, of course, but aim to get 100%. Now, I do offer Dental L Student Academy, so I do offer a full online course where if you need help while you're in school, I am here. I'm like your own personal tutor. So I have students sign up for the Dental L Student Academy even before they have started their program because you get a full two years access to me if you need help with projects, tests, assignments. I'm your own personal tutor online. You would simply email me what you need help with. I would come on online, either a pre-recording or something along those lines. Maybe it's just a quick email where I'm explaining to you what you need help in. If it's, hey, Andrea, I don't understand the nervous system in pharmacology. Can you help me? I'm learning chapter one right now. Can you help me? Can you explain this to me a little bit more? Give me a couple days and then I will pre-record a video for you where I explain it all. That's it. Nothing extra that you have to do. It's all included inside the Dental L Student Academy. I remember when I was a student, I would have loved to have a tutor. I would have loved to just have somebody to ask questions if I didn't understand something. I would have loved to just have the extra help, but I couldn't afford it. To get the extra help in my school, you would ask an instructor and they would charge $60 per hour. Well, I didn't have that kind of money. When I worked part time, I made like $10 per, per hour. So how is that going to work? but I'm your own personal tutor. You pay one fee, one time. You have full access to me while you're in school. So you guys think of these study tips. Think of these, these ways to get straight A's, but just remember, don't be too hard on yourself. Even if you didn't do well last semester, let's say you're in semester two now, or you're in year two. If you didn't do the best last year, it's okay. Start today or start tomorrow, but start now. Don't delay and just get reorganized, refreshed, and then you'll do really, really well from now on. So let me know if any questions. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.